So we're gonna send your nails to the lab, what I trimmed today, and see what species of fungus is causing the issue. Let's look closer here. Any of the nails causing any discomfort? No. The lab is going to look at these samples under the microscope. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Sorry? Mm. With the samples under the microscope. And then they're going to run DNA tests on it mm -hmm. to see exactly mm. what the species is that's causing the issue. Yeah, that sounds like an alien. Wait, what species? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a what? Alien. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. There are hundreds of, maybe thousands of species of. Fungus? Mm -hmm. Fungi. There are some that, that affect humans more than others. It causes that discoloration? It causes discoloration, the thickness, okay. the dryness, the flakiness, all the stuff that mm -hmm. collects underneath the nail. Yeah, I think we were looking at the uh, see if there was any if there were any joint changes, you know, okay. arthritis. Okay. Which we did not see. Okay. Um. A lot of build up here underneath the nails today. Some of it looks like uh, socks, lint from your socks. When these bad boys bro, I go through socks like, I don't know, holes become ten, 10 holes in your socks? <laughs> Now, how often are you caring for your feet at home? Mm -hmm. You have a foot bath at home? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I try to soak it with Epsom soil. As soon as you drive, you go right back into this mode. Okay. Um, I have lotion sometimes I use mm -hmm. to keep them moist. Why sometimes? Because uh, I can't be standing all the time. Okay. Yeah, Here's the thing about Epsom salt. Epsom salt is actually a drying agent. Is it? Mm-hmm. We use it for, like, infected ingrown toenails, abscesses, wet situations, when, when we're trying to dry something out. So if you're using Epsom salt regularly on your skin, that will actually cause your skin to dry out. Thus making these issues that you're dealing with perpetuate. Like the calluses, even the 
issue with the toenails. Really? So what you want to do when the skin is having issues with dryness, then you want to moisturize. And then just the opposite, if you have a wet situation. I say you had a, like, a lot of moisture between the toes, things like that. Mm -hmm. Then using Epsom salt is a good call. But that's not your situation. You're just the opposite. So you want to do the opposite, which is to moisturize. Moisturizing the sense of what? Uh, using these lotions, creams, lotions, creams, things like that. Because mm -hmm. it's real hard in the middle. And when it's real hard in the middle, it can be a little difficult for the blade to go through. So I'll just trim it. It's a pretty big piece here. So you had to study that, so you, you pretty much know where that comes this from. This is just yeah, from, is. yeah, this is just from pressure and friction. This is not infection or anything. So there's no need to send this to the lab. Now, as I shave it down, I can see the core right in the middle of it. Until I do an operation, that's what I'm saying. When she um, kind of dug into that, and when it heals back up, mm -hmm. that is the most excruciating pain. Um, and I guess when it's, I don't know what it's doing on the inside, coming back or whatever. Mm -hmm. that thing hurts like heck. So what happens underneath mm -hmm. this thing mm -hmm. is that it's such a hard and sensitive area as it causes inflammation underneath it, mm -hmm. you know, around the bony area right underneath the core. Mm -hmm. That's, where the pain comes That's where the pain comes from. And you get this little inflammation around that bony area, mm -hmm. I call bursitis. So you're suggesting it's what, to do a procedure and get it removed? Well, that's possible, but there are other non-surgical ways of dealing with it. One. Uh, some things you can do at home as far as skin care, filing it down on a regular basis. And two, using padding okay. and type of insoles on your toe on a daily basis okay. to cut down on the pressure and friction. Now, I don't mean to cut you off. That's what mm -hmm. I pretty much did with that one. Mm -hmm. I went and got some, um, some paddings and stuff and sit in one ear on that toe. Mm -hmm. Tried it with that one, but it didn't have the same result. Well, same result. Uh, You'll probably need something that actually wraps around the toe, rather than something that there. Well, there's different types that are, especially the silicon type that I like to recommend. That uh, do much better. The pad stays right where you want it to stay all day long. Oh, I think I've seen that. Like it's a blue um, gel thingy. Yeah. Okay. And it wraps. It slides over your toe like a little sock. Really. And it's made of silicon, so you can use it. Over and over again, instead of using it once and throwing it away. Yeah, you'll find it in the foot care section of your any of your drug stores. So like a toe side. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, that's what I call it. Mm-hmm. And see, so you got this right here on this little toe. Mm -hmm. And this in this spot again is pressure and friction. And this can be very bothersome because it's right in the corner of the nail. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can see a little white core here where the skin meets the nail. I managed to get that out without any issue.
All right, so this one, just like the big toe in your right foot, I'm gonna have to clip it first because it's so thick. All right. And there it goes. Is that just like the one on my um the other toe? Exactly. Good Lord. Kind of in a strange spot. Yeah, no kidding. Mm. Mm. So I can go home now and find that gel thing to put on top of it. Right? Exactly. Okay. That's good. That's This is kind of a mm -hmm. very strange location to get this. Right. It's actually right under the joint. But part of the issue is that your joint is kind of stiff. Mm. That's so, what I'm saying. Um, I'm not mistaken. That's when you recognize it the first time because you made mm -hmm. me do it. When we do the x-ray, yeah. And so you get some transfer of body weight here mm -hmm. leading to this spot instead of like right here or right under your toe. And it causes that. Yep. So this is more of a biomechanical issue. Mm. Yeah. There we go. It's weird how, you know, that that deal, that cattle kind of deal thing caused so much pain. Mm-hmm. So no extra salt. So what, what would you recommend that I actually soak them in? Cause this one has soak them just water. warm water and That's nice, good, mild soap. Okay. And they make all the foot soaks and things like that mm -hmm. for to help things feel better and to moisturize. But you don't want to dry out. You don't want to use Epsom salt. You don't want to use vinegar. Okay. Anything like that. Vinegar, apple cider vinegar, anything like that. Because those are drying agents. Those down home remedies don't yeah. really go into detail. Well, yeah, but you know, they work great for yeah, the for the for the right issue. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry.
had a job for you. There you go. <laughs> Tell her. See what she said. <laughs> oh, she didn't say too much nothing because she wanna be like, hurry and we'll get your feet fixed. <laughs> Want you to help me maintain these feet fit. Tell the doctor's orders. Right, exactly. She needs to help you. Right. Keep your feet straight. It takes a woman to touch. There you go. Yeah. Oh man, that feels good. Okay, so when I get home, like I said, I'm gonna get that gel thing and put it on the bottom. Yeah. And my other. This is Dr. Kevin Jefferson, the DC foot doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at DC Foot Doctor. And most importantly, take care of your feet.